So if you've ever done anything with video, you'll know that camera movement is very important. Whether it's A-roll, B-roll, a time-lapse, um, or even slow motion, having camera movement with inside your shot has a whole new dynamic and feel to the video. So today I'm going to show you how I built an Arduino-based camera slider that's very simple and cheap, but it's got some really good video results. This slider has two main axes, a translational axis and a rotational axis. Having these two axes allows the camera to move laterally while staying focused on the same position. Both axes are controlled by these 28BYJ-48 stepper motors. They're just really cheap 5 volt stepper motors that you can buy on Amazon. Each one of the motors is controlled by one of these driver boards, and this is what you attach to the Arduino. The lateral axis slides using bearings that fit into the grooves in the aluminum extrusion. This same slotting mechanism is used a lot on 3D printers because it's an easy way to create smooth lateral motion. A stepper motor at the end of the axes spins the tooth pulley to move the gantry left or right. The rotational axis uses a GT2 belt that fits into some grooves in the base of the camera holder. On this camera slider, I chose to use the top of a Joby tripod as the mechanism to mount the camera. I did this because it allowed me to just kind of clip in and clip out the camera super easily. And then using the ball joint on top of the mount, I could pretty much adjust the camera to point anywhere or any direction I'd like. All of the electronics used to control the slider are stored within inside this 3D printed box. The code I wrote to control this runs on an Arduino Uno inside the box, and that takes in all the inputs from the front panel and turns it into that movements that the motor should be making. Currently I have it all running off of a LiPo battery that goes to a voltage regulator, and this is just so that I can take it anywhere and I don't have to be reliant on a plug. To operate the slider, there's a couple steps that need to be done. First, the user can use the knobs to manually move the slider between positions. The first thing they have to select is the end position. So if you have a camera on top, you look through the viewfinder and once you've found a position you like, you press that black button and it saves that position. Then you can manually maneuver over to the start position. Once you're at the start position, you can again press the black button and it will save that position. And then when you press the green button, it will move the slider and interpolate between your start position and your end position that you recorded so you get that full, nice, smooth pan and slide. Obviously this slider is pretty short. However, if you just get a longer piece of aluminum extrusion, you can easily extend it to however long you need it for your application. Although you'll see that even with this short of slider, you can get some pretty cool looking shots.